Yo, what's goody, Wavy Nation? It's your boy, Wavy underscore Marty with the pets, whatever, whatever. But look, make sure I subscribe, tap in, turn on notification bell, because we lit. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm lit out here. But look, we got Schoolboy Q. TDE sends a scary warning to Drake for doing what? All I'm thinking about is the Coachella event. That's all I'm thinking about. Let's hop into this shit. Maybe taking a very nasty turn nasty, after all of us thought turn. it was over. Now, a lot of us thought this beef no, this was over because we got word that behind the scenes, things got squashed after the shooting at Drake Crib and after certain events began to take place. People behind the scenes thought, yo, this beef is getting a little bit too serious. It was all rap at first. Now it's taking a turn and we don't want for either party to get hurt. So let's just squash it, stop no, the disc facts. records and move on. Yeah. And CEO Wacko, who's a really reputable dude in LA, will confirm the fact that he was actually one of the dudes who helped squash the beef behind the scenes. Oh, oh God. But Wacko, I was, I was, I was going to ask you about, you know, they put the, tr uh, the truth to that. You ended the uh, Kendrick Drake. Oh, yeah. Saying that. Oh, imagine that. And the Kendrick Drake beef. <laughs> hey, look, so. I do a lot of shit without looking for anybody to pat me on the back. Right. You know what I'm saying? Give me flowers on certain things. But um, that was me that made that phone call. I made mm. the phone call to Matt Babel, you know what I'm saying, based on some things that's about to happen in Coachella. You know what I'm saying? Right, Worthy? Yeah. You feel me? So yeah. Certain people from Coachella, at Coachella was about to get hurt. So I made the phone call based on what I knew. If you're a little confused about the timeline, let me clarify. Drake That's dropped push-ups, his bro. first Kendrick Lamar official diss, April 19th. Was that saying. was the last day of Coachella. So when that thing dropped, everybody at this point is confused and don't know if it's real beef or if it's rap beef. So Drake's team is at Coachella, blindsided, don't know what's going on. Drake just dropped this diss track. They're now in the fire. They're standing in L.A., and they could have gotten <laughs> in touch. But CEO Wacko exercised patience exercised discernment and decided to give them a pass and actually tapped in to figure out if it was rap beef or real beef. And that's when he alerted them to, you know, let the wolves know, yo, this is just rap beef. And then he decided to stand by and let the rap beef play out. And uh, and I let them know, you know what I'm saying? Like, this about to get ugly. My hood ain't gonna play with y'all. Y'all yeah. niggas got flies in your room? That was a fly. Hold on, that was a fucking fly just rap beef then he decided to stand by and let the rap beef play out and uh and i let them know you know what i'm saying like that's this a fly, fly. Bro. my hood ain't gonna play with y'all yeah <laughs> rapper is just rap nah this no, is more than stop, just bro. rap yeah. nigga this pie rope. yeah, yeah. You know my homies ain't gonna play <laughs> so again that's our people's champ right there you know what i'm saying before he hits the world he from wsp he yeah so yeah i made the phone call to him and then uh you know i told him like man you need to reach out to certain people let them know that this ain't nothing but lyrical exercise we got to keep promoting you know peace and this is just rap you know what i mean good for hip-hop so that everybody don't get it misunderstood so uh that was one side of it but then once the house got hit i had already reached i reached out to dave free and a few others and shit you know what i'm saying he felt the way i felt i said i'm about to call top i called top told him we need to shut this shit down me and top you know we we made our minds up that yeah we right it got to go ahead and shut it down so i put top on the phone with drake's side we worked it out you know what i mean i told top you write it up you know what i'm saying send it over to me i proved that shit we put it out so i'm not gonna never say i just did that alone no that was a collective thought and effort so for people who was expecting another drake diss record is not gonna happen People from Drake's side who live and stay in L.A. and operate and move around L.A., they were terrified for their lives. They were terrified that things could get really bad for them. So Drake and his team decided, along with Kendrick and his team, that the... And I agree. I agree because, like, it's 2024, bro. Like, some fans are really ready to crash out <laughs> more than the rappers. And I agree, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I agree, I agree. Like, I'd, I'd be fucking like, oh shit, like, damn, can I go pump gas? Can I fucking, you know, go get some backwoods? Like, I agree, I agree, because there's a lot of fans out there that is just willing to just do anything for anything type shit. So, like, 
I don't know, man. You two, you 2024 babies, it's, it's fucking different. <laughs> beef can stop here. Oh, Not like us is a smash record. He's doing his thing. Let the beef stop and end. All right. Now, they would actually further explain the people from Drake team who was actually concerned for their lives in L.A. It is. Nah, because I, I, I know niggas over there on their team. Like, they was behind the scenes. Niggas was like, uh, we, we live out here. We have to move out here. Like, this shit getting too serious. The city oh, yeah. on some other shit. So it was, yeah. I mean, there it, it is. I mean, one, like, one, 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 like, what do you expect? Like, what do you expect? Somebody like Kendrick Lamar can grow up in that city did whatever he had to do for the city. It's just like me. If like if I was in some rat, like rat beef with another nigga from whatever, and he came to my city, and niggas was on his head, that'd be the same. Like you know what I'm saying. So I understand like where they coming from. Like, hey man, like you know, I, I just work for this nigga type of shit. Like, who? Why is niggas coming after me? So like I understand. I understand. But Drake. You got dog walked. You got dog walked on this one, bro. You got dog walked. You tried to do your little shenanigans like you always do, and it didn't work this time. It didn't work. It didn't work this time. Tried to make people feel sorry for you. It didn't work. It ain't working this time. So I'm gonna say, Drake's main guys. You know what I'm saying? You know, he, he's at Interscope. That's our mm -hmm. guy. Yeah. You know I mean, yeah. shout out to Preem. Shout out to Preem. Preem, a real yeah, nigga, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So Preem was one of the yeah, ones I, the I got on the phone as well with up. and organized all of that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. put it together. Okay, there it is, yeah, man. You know the point right now. It's like it's not even homies. It's the fans. Like exactly. niggas feel a certain way about that exactly. shit. You know what I'm saying? Then that was my. That's what I was just saying. Like, it's fans out here that'll crash out for the rapper more than the rapper want to crash out. Nigga, like, it's fans out here are crazy as hell, bro. Like, super fanned out. When we have no control over the fans. You know what I'm saying? We can say, okay, no, nah, no, nah, we good. Ain't nothing about to happen. Crazy, but these fans bro. are diehard fans. And who's going to say what they going to do? If they if they had already, you know, uh, vandalized Drake's uh, shop out there, right. what else was going to happen? With the white flag being waved on Drake's behalf, it seems like the beef was over. Well, the beef is essentially over, right? It, it, it looks like there's still a peace treaty, but things could get awkward and tricky fast. Schoolboy Q would recently take to Twitter about an hour ago to announce that maybe Drake and his team is playing dirty games. Schoolboy Q would take to Twitter to say, they just canceled my show in Toronto. Canadian police don't want nobody from TDE performing. So Schoolboy Q will blame the cancellation of his show on Canadian police. Apparently, they have put out a ban on TDE from performing in Toronto due to the ongoing conflict with Drake. Now, Schoolboy Q would have reasons to believe, though, that Drake is probably involved because his next tweet would be, Top was just with Wayne and Baby shaking my head. Party Next Door just had a show at the Palladium. If we wanted to get y'all, we would have just did it. Now, when somebody get hurt, don't cry. What do you guys think about this? Uh, let me, let me. I seen this tweet earlier. Cause I follow Screwball Q on, on X or whatever, but. It's kind of crazy that somebody from TDE can't perform in Toronto. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He a fan. He a fan. He a. Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> oh, man. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. I feel like Drake and his team probably stopped that joint. Probably stopped that joint. Let me just tell him. So, Schoolboy Q would say, hey, listen, right? Yo, we were down to squash this beef, bro. We was going to let y'all live and operate and do shows and eat in L.A. But now it looks like you guys are not operating in the same good faith that we're operating in, right? Now, I'll be real, all right? Now, Toronto is having, like, flash floods and is having unprecedented historical floods. So, <laughs> do some people may think that maybe the floods <laughs> have something to do with it <laughs> opposed to... 
Drake and his team? Man. No, bro, because like when I seen Drake's house flood, I'm like, damn, Kendrick the fuck. <laughs> I would like when he when he seen it when I seen this house flood I'm like Kendrick Kendrick fucking <laughs> he clogged these drains or something. <laughs> oh, what a time to be alive, ain't it? Maybe <laughs> for Schoolboy Q has always been somebody, bro, who is extremely honest. Um, yeah, has good character, a man with principles and morals, bro. So I don't think Schoolboy <laughs> Q would be misleading in any way and i don't think he would involve drake and his team um if he didn't really believe that drake and his team was involved right and schoolboy q would say actually i get it right never mind this is low-key hilarious i don't know why dot put me in that effing video so schoolboy q would say that the reason why he been banned from performing in toronto is because he was in the not like us video which is very true right as you can see Right here, right? <laughs> this is cool with Q in the Not Like Us video. <laughs> right now, academics did uh, like say, "Yo, I'm praying for peace." Uh, and Schoolboy Q did clarify, bro, that it's not like that. Uh, Schoolboy Q says, "I never said I'm gonna kill somebody. I'm saying if we wanted to crack it off, we could have rap and move on. Playing tough gonna get somebody hurt. It's all good. I'm a soccer dad." The current, like, no cap, bro. This shit is all just. Just rap, bro. Like, if anybody takes this shit more serious than that, then like, I feel like you got issues on 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 your side, type shit. Like, if somebody like this is you and that fucking shit goes crazy and you fucking trying to want to kill somebody over that shit, like, you gotta you gotta reevaluate your life <laughs> at this point. <laughs> you gotta reevaluate your life at this point because I know if somebody fucking diss me and shit, I wouldn't be out here fucking. Oh, put some money on his head. Fuck that nigga. Like, like, it's different when it's just all just rap and ain't nobody getting touched. That's close to you type shit. You know, fuck the bodyguard. That's why you a bodyguard, nigga. You got shot. And good to get shot, but that's why you're a bodyguard. <laughs> so like, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Floods are a good reason and probably a good excuse for why I'm the show is canceled. The comments, but here's why a lot of people aren't rolling out Drake because Pusha T, another one of Drake's ops, also had the same complaint. Right, he was performing in Toronto and Canada. It was all good. Then he got into a beef with Drake, and now he can't even get a passport into Canada. Right, so Drake has ties in high places, bro. Canada before I can I'm banned from Canada. You're banned from Canada. I thought you was just saying that. I didn't turn out of, no, I didn't get turned out of the border. Oh, so I just, you filled out for your visa the, and they came back. Yeah, it's that it's that what did you do in Canada? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> That's playing a different game. You banned from the country. That's a little next level. In all seriousness, man, I hope Drake isn't involved, bro. Because <laughs> this will really be disappointing. For me too, bro. I really hope Drake is just like, hey, I hope I hope he's not like, hey, man, Pusha T, he can't come back here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Da 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 da. But like, <sighs> who's bigger? Who's biggest Drake in in states type shit? Uh, this is like Michael Jackson, like saying, "Like, hey, I don't want this person performing in the United States." <laughs> like, if Drake, if if you did this, it just proves to us that you're a bitch. <laughs> and I fucking love Drake, bro. I love Drake's music, bro. Like, I'm not picking sides or anything, but like, from the outside looking in, bro, my boy. Look like you had something to do with this shit, gay. Like, damn, bro. You, you better niggas from the country now, bro. You better niggas from the country now, bro. Like, come on, bro. First push a T. Now fucking schoolboy Q that ain't said a word in this shit. Getting banned from the fucking Toronto, bro. Who knows? Fucking pre. Next, I'm gonna be fucking banned from Toronto for, for reacting to this shit. <laughs> It's your boy Wavy underscore Marty, man. I can't take this shit. Drake, I hope this shit ain't true, gang. I really hope it ain't true, man. It's your boy Wavy underscore Marty. Make sure y'all subscribe. Type in the notification bell, man. Type in the poetic fucko, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to that boy, too, man. Let's get it.